so welcome everyone in this video i'll be talking about the wavy curve method and for what for following inequalities we will be talking about the wavy curve method for solving inequalities so let us see a first inequality suppose you are given this x square plus x is greater than 6 so the first thing we are going to do is to factorize it and for that we are going to shift the terms x square plus x minus x will be greater than 0 or x square plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 will be greater than 0 as 3 times minus 2 will give us minus 6 and 3 minus 2 is 1 this coefficient here so x x plus 3 minus 2 x plus 3 is greater than 0 or x plus 3 x minus 2 is greater than 0 well from this expression we gather that x that this expression will be 0 when x will be equal to minus 3 or x will be equal to 2 and so from here we draw a we draw the wavy curve to find out when this will be true here is a line and we'll plot these numbers in ascending order so minus 3 and 2 in a wavy curve we always start from the top right corner and we look at the powers of each of these factor which contains this expression so for 2 we look at this x minus 2 it has an odd power odd power means that this graph will come and cross it and then go to the next one well we look at the minus 3 one expression this x plus 3 it also has an odd power this will come and go through it always remember start from the top right corner and then draw this graph and so we want our x to be greater than 0 when it is greater than 0 here and here and what are these x belongs to from minus infinity to minus 3 union 2 to infinity and if you don't believe me let's just check through google we had x plus 3 x minus 2 so let's plot this graph y is equal to x plus 3 and uh, x minus 2 so as we plotted look here beyond 2 at number at numbers larger than 2 this graph is greater than 0 yes beyond 2 it is definitely greater than 0 from 2 to minus 3 it is below the x axis from 2 to minus 3 it is below the x axis and henceforth it for numbers less than minus 3 it becomes larger and larger so when is this graph greater than 0 or when does it lie above the x axis that is from minus infinity to minus 3 and 2 to infinity let us see some other examples now whenever we are given the question we reduce into factor form and suppose the reduced factor form you get is x minus 1 whole square x plus 2 and x plus 3 whole cube is less than or equal to 0 so how will you go about solving this first of all don't forget to draw your line it just makes the work more clean and plot the point well this expression is going to be equal to 0 and x will be 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so it's an in ascending order 1 minus 2 and minus 3 
now we start from the top right corner and the expression with 1 that's a square term that's an even term so our wavy curl will reach it but it won't be able to cross it and hence it will go to the next term now this minus 2 term this came from x plus 2 it has an odd power our curl will cross it and then reach to the next 0 this minus 3 term this again has an odd power and this will cross it and reach to the next what is our answer x belongs to we are searching for less than 0 well this is the reason that it is less than 0 below the x axis and that is minus 3 to minus 2 and due to this imperfect inequality it will be like this or let us verify our answer so we had y is equal to x minus 1 whole square x plus 2 x plus 3 whole cube yes now look at this it came from 1 but below the x axis it only went at minus 2 well it is not very clear here but you can see for minus you can see the value here for x and y for this is greater than minus 2 y is positive as it reaches x it is nearly 0 and look as it crosses minus 2 this pointer which is right minus 2.03 somewhere the y is negative so it definitely crossed 2 here and then it rose again and at 3 you can look at the y value at 3 it again became positive so starting from the top reaching 1 but then not crossing and reaching minus 2 Cross starting from the 1 reaching 1 reaching minus 2 going below and then reaching minus 3 went below and minus 3 and then faded away to positive infinity went away to positive infinity so we have done this also right moving on to the next one this time we have x minus 1 inverse x minus 2 square and x plus 3 raised to power negative 3 is greater than 0 is greater than 0 so now again we draw a line and from here we know that x is equal to that this expression is equal to 0 only when x is equal to 1 2 and negative 3 so we have 2 1 and negative 3 and we start from the top right corner here reach the 2 term this 2 came from here and since it is an even power it won't be able to cross it and reach the next term it reaches 1 term now this minus 1 you can ignore the negative sign and 1 1 is fairly odd it will cross it and reach the next point minus 3 this came from here and this 3 3 is also odd it is going to cross it so when it is greater than 0 that is above the axis it was here here and here so x belongs to and look notice no greater than and equals to only greater than so x belongs to from minus infinity to minus 3 union 1 to infinity and now it's always good to check it so we had and notice this graph generated from google that's a computer generated graph and it's it is perfectly accurate what we are doing here is trying to make the graph trying to get whether when it was greater than 0 or less than 0 but this is the most accurate graph 
I mean it may be exactly not like this shape but it will be fairly close so we had x minus 1 raised to power minus 1 x minus 2 raised to power 2 x plus 3 raised to power minus 3 and here is our graph and a result from minus 3 you can look at here we zoom out the graph fairly bit you can see this is see here that when it is nearly minus 3 it becomes positive and when it is more than minus 3 like minus 2.7 it is negative and when it becomes like minus 3.1 it is fairly positive so this is certainly greater than 1 this part and also from 1 till infinity that's also greater than 0 and our graph was see it was not an 100% accurate representation but it fairly serves our purpose and now I'll be showing you the last example what if we got x upon x plus 1 is greater than 0 how we we'll do how we we'll do this now notice we multiply we cannot just put this term like transfer this term here and since it multiplies by 0 we can tell x is greater than 0 no we can't do that because when we transfer term that is multiply or divide by a negative term the sign flips and we can't tell when it will be positive or when it will be negative and we can't tell for like x is minus minus 1000 then this whole term will be minus 999 and when it is when it goes here this equality sign flips so what we are going to do we are multi going to multiply both sides with x plus 1 whole square And now this x plus 1 whole square, this doesn't change, this doesn't flips the sign of inequality because this is a positive term and multiplying by a positive term never does that. So what we are left with, x, this x plus 1 term cancels out with this, x, x, 0. And now we proceed as usual, this will be, this expression will be 0 when x will be 0 or x will be negative 1. We draw our lines and not the points on it 0 and negative 1 we start from the topmost corner all our 1 that is odd power will cross everything it will cross everything and now we want it greater than 0 that is this part so x will belong to minus infinity to minus 1 union 0 to infinity let us check that so we had y is equal to x divided by x plus 1 and our answer was excluding the minus 1 and 0 part and here we have you can notice at minus 1 just a little below minus 1 that is like minus 1.014 y is fairly positive and for expression is like above the axis from minus 1 till 0 this whole thing is negative you can see it is below the axis and from 0 onwards it is positive and so we have got the right solution